off from out of all the man. We're now back to a fine evening. Time is now 10 to 6 and we're well on our way to Paris. We're in the middle of Paris on the evening. We've just booked in at the hotel there just for the night. A bit expensive but I can't be bothered looking around a lot for another place tomorrow. And this is this is in the uh, upper area. And if uh, you're watching this and that, you'll probably recognise that building down there. We went to. around the place. This is just the end of the street where I'm staying. Well talk about noisy. And hot. You can tell the tourists they're all hot and sweaty. How about that? Two monuments in one shot. Cleopatra's Needle in Paris, and in the background is the Eiffel Tower. For some reason, the, for some reason, Tourists are no more tidier than the people in the UK. Just look at this litter. All over the place. You've got to be left by the tourists. Unbelievable. So the same. Just about, just about to walk over it now. Parisians out on a nice summer's evening. Having a few drinks of wine, a bit of a picnic. So I've just booked into the Ibis Gabon. Two nights, 99 euros, that's pretty good. Supposed to be a surprise for Barnum when she turns up. Head back to my hotel now and have a good night's sleep. There's a cafe Gambron. Just could not come all the way to Paris 
and not film the Eiffel Tower at night time. It's about uh, 10.30 now. I oh, wish you come way home. So I thought I'd stop off. Oh, it's got a full moon tonight as well. Starting up down there. Now that is one spectacular sight. Especially at night time. Beautiful. I'll have to get a shot further away. It's got a couple of searchlights way up top, beaming out. Can we just sit down here with the rest of the young people and take in the sight? Okay, one for two. Come on. This is on day shot. So that's what they're all waiting for, is it? Black pool illuminations. Christmas lights. Must admit, those look very nice. I'll come back tomorrow in the day and take some more film. Thousands and thousands of people here tonight. And I think they're all under 20. This is uh, early morning Paris. Tuesday, before nine o'clock. Temperatures must be well into the high twenties already. Very humid. Everybody rushing off to work. Apartments up there. It's all been all renovated. Cafes are doing good business. First off, the car temple is there. Station I arrived at yesterday. Wasn't in the mood for filming. It was very hot. Entire. All I wanted was to find a. A hotel. Just inside the station. Everybody rushing up to work. Nicely settled into my little hotel room. Nice big double bed there. Not quite as comfortable as the last place, but it's got the basics. But this one has got eight story view. And believe it or not, it was beautiful this morning. It just started to rain. It's a bit of a, a storm brewing. I was going to go for a walk, but I think I'll leave it a little bit later. You hear the thunder? It's quite grey over there. At least this will cool the air off somewhat. How about this for a photograph?
the hotel window. One orange, three New Zealand dollars, Harris. Let's hope it tastes nice. Wednesday evening, I thought I'd just try and capture some of the atmosphere. I've just been to see Ken and Violet. I wanted to arrive very tired, and Ken was actually come down with something, so I kept one away from him. I'm just on my way now to walk the Shans Elysee. So I'll just stop and just uh, take a bit of the uh, scenery. We call it an old railway bridge scenery. It will get better as the night goes on. Even the Parisians have got flair with their supports of their railway bridge. Very gothic. Yeah, this looks like an interesting shot. A nice big bottle of champagne there and all the caviar. Maroon glacé. Brandy, olive oil. You see really power east. You've got tons and tons of rubbish out beside the road and just a couple of meters away are all the diners. Typical Paris. Well, one thing Paris is not sure of, less restaurants and people to eat in them. That's the first McDonald's I've come across in the last two days. So there's not too any fast food outlets. There's no Kentucky Fried Chicken, no Burger King. First McDonald's. I think the secret is, is not to leave your van in one place for too long. 